Welcome to another Mac Professionals Pro Podcast. I'm John Rutherford and I'll be your host. Today we're going to get an introduction to Apple's new Final Cut Server application. Final Cut Server is a digital asset management tool that allows you to better organize and sort all the digital assets in your production environment. So let's get started. Final Cut Server is a server-based application. This means the software actually gets installed on a server somewhere in your facility. The system requirements for Final Cut Server are very specific. While a normal Macintosh desktop system can be used, a server is your best choice. The way Final Cut Server communicates with the client systems is over a gigi network. Communication in proxy transmission are all handled through the network. Final Cut Server uses two technologies for keeping track of your assets. The first is a database, which is called a catalog. Final Cut Server uses the catalog to keep track of all the metadata in your assets. The other is what's called devices. These are storage units that can be connected to Final Cut Server for storing media. The relationship between Final Cut Server and its client is to do with the way that tasks are requested. The client system will send a task request to the server and based on the permissions that are configured in the server the client system will have access to those assets. An example would be uploading assets. When a client system wishes to upload an asset it makes a request to the Final Cut server to upload the media file. Along with that goes the metadata information into the actual catalog database. So before we get started looking at the interface of Final Cut Server, let's talk about how the software gets installed on the individual workstations. Users will launch their web browser and type in the particular IP address where Final Cut Server was installed in their particular facility. They'll get this information from their IT director or from their system administrator. Once they click the download button and install the software, it will launch and they will get this login window. They just type in their name and password that launches the software and brings them right into the Final Cut Server interface. The interface is very straightforward. Up at the top of the very top of the screen you'll see there are no menu items like in a traditional application. That's because all the information is contained inside the window of the application itself. We've got some menu pull downs here that give us things like preferences and how to search different uh, devices and, and jobs within our project as well as how to log out. We can also bring up a new workspace which is just another window that we can use and also how to check uh, the condition of downloads and uploads so progress options there. There's a help menu option right here and then along the top we have the ability to search uh, our catalog based on specific metadata so if I type in yellow here you'll see that it sorts out and just identifies the particular assets can double click on these assets and get some more information about them like metadata or resources where they're being used things like versions which we'll talk about in future podcasts whether they're in a locked state or not and uh, what condition they're in or what status they're in and they're in a potential review and approve process you can also right click and view a proxy of this particular asset in QuickTime since it's a video clip so I can quickly browse through the asset library. The interface contains two main windows, the asset view and the production view. Assets are the individual objects within your Final Cut Server database. Uh, they'll be identified by a little icon in the upper left hand corner of the, of the thumbnail, thumbnail placeholder in the asset view. That'll tell you what type of an asset they are, whether they're a video clip or a still image or a document. And then there's also a, a productions pane, and productions are containers within Final Cut Server that allow you to better organize and sort different assets based on uh, potentially a project that they may be all so assigned with. There's also search options within here, and you can have specific metadata assigned to a project or a production. There's some pre-built uh, smart searches that come with the application, but you can also build your own smart searches. 
and down in the lower left hand corner is a uh, small little information pane which gives me just some basic um, information about an asset without actually having to go into its main uh, get info window. There's also a series of icons up here along the top of the interface which allow us to sort or view the contents of our pane in either icon or list view. You can also um, create a new production from some selections. You can check out and check in assets and lock assets. We'll talk about these features in later podcasts. So the important thing is that Final Cut Server is a digital asset management tool and it has all the capabilities with uh, particularly with its deep support for metadata to help you organize and sort your assets more effectively. Next time we'll take a look at how to upload material into the Final Cut Server catalog. Well I hope you found that helpful and you'll be able to start using these features right away. If you have a request for any future podcasts, please visit us at www.macprofessionals.com training and fill out our podcast request form. Thanks for coming, and we'll see you next time.